guys, Tara here. Before anything else, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. All right, guys. So today, I am very happy and excited to unbox, do some tests on, and make a review on. Ta -da -da -da. Well, I'm sure you already know because of the title, but here it goes. Ta -da -da -da. The Canon G7X Mark II. Yay! Anyways. Before I jump into unboxing, let me just go ahead and give you a side story. Is that okay? Anyway, side story. Um, a friend of mine, Luigi, messaged me on Facebook and then she told me about this camera and she recommends it because I'm into vlogging. And then I remembered, this is also the camera of my friend who is also, by the way, a vlogger. Do check her out on her socials, guys. Hi, Liz. And so I told my husband about this camera. Little did I know that he was already doing his research about this camera because he is also into photography. Another shameless plug, you can also check out his work at Doc Real Travels on Instagram. And so, dun -da -da -da, and one day he surprised me with this. Yay! But really, guys, it's the thought that counts. But it's here. So, yay! Plus, 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 plus points to the hubby for this. The love bag is full. So, anyways, guys, enough with the side story. Enough, Chica. Let's jump right into unboxing. Now that we're done with unboxing, it's time to do some tests. By the way, I've already switched my camera from Fujifilm X-T10 to Canon G7X Mark II. If you want to know, well, in my published vlogs, I was using Fujifilm X-T10 and Fujifilm X-T3. Alright, so now for the first test, let's do the focus test. So, hi! And then if I move forward, to my eyebrows. It pretty much follows me everywhere I go. So it's good, we're good. How about if I focus a product? Wow, that was pretty fast. One, two. Two seconds, right? One, two. Yeah, about one, one second, two seconds. It's great. Now let's do the audio test. So sound check, sound check, everything is good because I am inside. How about if we go outside? Audio test outside. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. People are watching. It's pretty noisy right here outside, but it's fine because we're doing an audio test. Sound check. Hi guys. Hello. It's fine. And now I'm back inside. Well, 
the disadvantage or the downside of this camera is that you cannot insert an external microphone but it's fine the audio seems to be working well for me and with the price that you're paying for well this is pretty good this is pretty acceptable so I'll take it and now let's do an exposure test Right here, everything is good. And guys, what I really love about this camera is that you can adjust the exposure right here. Later on, I'll be showing you. There is a dial right here to do that. How about I'll take you somewhere dark so that we can check out the quality of the video. Let's go. Exposure test right there. It's pretty dark, so let's check it out. Do a stability test. Okay, stability test. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today we are here testing out Canon G7X Mark II. What about if we run? Let's go back. Hi guys, so right now I'm jogging. How are you today? Pretty good. Again. Do it again, guys. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm running. All right, and now for a zoom test. Let's go outside to do that. Now I'm done with the test. I've switched back to Fujifilm X-T10. And now for my review, I'm just gonna tell you the reasons why I recommend it. I'm just gonna give you 10 reasons why I recommend it. I'm sure there are a lot more, but let me just give you 10. And let me just give you the reasons because obviously I am convinced by this camera and I'm not really a tech savvy to discuss the technicalities of this camera for a review. So let's just go ahead with it. Number one, I love this camera. I recommend this camera because it is compact. Speaks for itself. Number two, it has a flip out viewfinder. So whenever you're vlogging, it's nice because you can actually see yourself while vlogging. Number three, quick focus. Quick focus and it is actually touch screen just in case. Which is really good, which is really nice for vlogging especially. Number four, usability. I give it five stars, ease of use. It's user friendly, I love it. Number five, quality videos and shots. I mean, the colors and the exposures are on point and you can just, as what I've mentioned, you can just adjust the exposure right here right here guys so when you are vlogging like that and when the area is quite dark you can just adjust it automatically or if it's too bright you can adjust the exposure and 
there you have it. Number six, audio or sound quality is good. As what I've mentioned a while ago, you cannot um, insert an external microphone which is the downside but the internal microphone works pretty well it's good it's acceptable for me so good job number seven it has a time lapse feature so if you feel quite creative in your vlogs you can add some time lapse videos and number eight image stabilization is good that's what you saw during my test it's really good. Number nine, long battery life. For light vlogging, you don't have to change your battery in a day. So number 10, value for money. With everything that this camera has to offer, yes to value for money. So guys, if you have any questions how much, where I bought this, you can drop a comment or you can message me through Instagram. You can check out my socials. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!